what's going on guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another tutorial video on gta 5 modding or specifically 5m modding um thank you guys for all the love and all the support in previous videos and i do appreciate it over the last couple of days or weeks or maybe months i've been continuously asked what videos i use and um I'm gonna tell you guys today. So I've always said that I've been using NVE. I got introduced to it by a couple of people who were, if you guys are keeping up with my channel, you know that we are not that cool anymore. But either way, I'm gonna give them credit where credit is due. I got introduced to this from Dylan Tess from everywhere at NGRP, and I've been using it ever since, even though it, at that time when I had my, my old processor, it wasn't, running very well on that processor especially with the constant updates that this developer does but it's still a really good graphics engine you guys can choose whichever you one you want i personally use nve i've seen people use quant v and a bunch of other stuff why do i look so greasy jesus anyways so um yeah i'm gonna leave a link to his stuff his patreon because it is a paid resource you gotta go ahead and um and and just purchase his patreon subscription or whatever for the ten dollars and um yeah go ahead and get this resource because it's really really worth it in my opinion i think that it's a really good graphics modification just, just i'm gonna just show you guys a clip right here right Now that is just proof that it's a really good graphical engine and stuff like that. And I'm not even at full graphics right there. My GPU can't handle full graphics. So imagine if one of you guys had a 3070, 3090, 3080, bro. Like y'all would be smashing it out the park with this modification. So um, without further ado, we're going to hop into the tutorial. If you guys like this video, drop a like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications so you know when I very post. And um, yeah, enjoy. All right, guys, right here, this is just his Patreon. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to show this, but yeah, this is just, uh, there's no sensitive information on here, so I guess it's fine. Um, this is his Patreon. Join his Discord if you could get, um, you know, included into his Patreon or whatever. I'll, I'll leave the link to the Patreon down in the description. And um, this is his channel, so go ahead and give the guy his credit. Go ahead and subscribe or whatever. Um, yeah, this is the guy's channel, bro. He has some really good modification and stuff for his visuals right here but um once you have paid for the resource on his um patreon you get you have options for a download you get go well, guys can go ahead and download it and then i'll show you guys what 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 it looks like after you have completely downloaded it all right so once you guys have completely downloaded it it's gonna come in like a zip file you get options to have different versions of the nve so one for single player one for 5m one for i think it's rage and i don't remember what the last one is for i think it's like a development part or something i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure but me personally i only use it for 5m so i only download the 5m version um and it comes in this zip folder here so if we can go up to the top here and i guess extract it um we can see all of the different modifications and different things that we have in this nve package just a couple of other things that you guys are going to need would be um open iv i'll leave a link to that in the description down below and you'll also need to head over to your uh, 5m application data folder to do that you go ahead and right click on your 5m after you have um after you have downloaded it right click on your 5m press open file location this will come up and then you'll see 5m application data at the top once you've done that you can right click and press uh create shortcut and then put a, a shortcut on the desktop I, that's what i recommend that you guys do that create a shortcut and put the shortcut on the desktop so that every month then when you have to update your nve it's always there so for now we're going to just go into our um 5m application data and we are going to get open iv up so once we have opened OpenIV, I'm going to click open up OpenIV and then you're going to click GTA 5. 
once it is finished loading up um you guys are going to come up to the gta 5 directory so for this one we're going to install the mods first we're going to see what we like so um for the 5m mods we're going to go to main package mods and then you'll see all of these me personally i use all of these modifications in there um i think it's really good i guess for me to use all of these so i just take all of these and i copy them over so you just um highlight all drag and drop and that's literally it it's it's that easy oh i didn't tell you guys where to put them so in your 5m application data folder right all right let's not replace these so in our 5m application data folder when you click 5m application data you go to mods and then you put all of them in there everything is in there just cop just drag it and drop it right in there right next there are some he also adds some optional stuff that you not not everybody has or not everybody you might want but it's 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 really optional i would suggest that adding all of the stuff from the other folder because um those seem like they're very important to having the graphical modifications to look really good so i just add all of them but in here you have other options so enhanced motion blur blight, brighter emergency lights roads overhaul haul pack these the roads overhaul pack would just basically make the roads look a lot more realistic so you'll see like af asphalt cracks and different different lines and everything that look look different you know it looks it looks good and then you have weapons overhaul pack not 100 percent sure what those do i think they they allow the the weapon to have like muzzle flashes and stuff like that i think that's what that does uh hide weapon radical and damage overlay um that's if you want that you can you can put that in darker nights this one though this one is purely based on you because for me it's realistic to have the darker nights because your nights are actually pitch black bro unless there's a source of light your nights are actually pitch black and it's very very realistic however um for me i mean it's still kind of a video game for me so i don't know if i want the darker nights and it's really hard to see at night with the youtube videos so if it was just me i would probably have the darker nights but because i record and i have you guys see these things then i don't use it um vanilla unicorn overhaul you can change the interior of the vanilla unicorn um and these are the things i don't really use except for the nve props this would add um specific parts of the map that would say um caution road work or uh, ahead or maybe um some other other traffic signs and stuff that are construction ahead that's what i meant so stuff like that you can have that in that one but i don't usually use it for me this is what i use so brighter emergency lights i use the high intensity i just drag it so go into this folder drag and drop into here and then we go to i use roads overhaul pack and make my roads look really well so i drag and drop that over there in as well weapons overhaul pack i also drag this and drop this over there um i don't use darker nights um and i use the props so i use this one here the other one will be the 5m resource if you want it in your 5m server you can just add this into your resources folder and then make sure you put it in your server.cfg to start the resource but right now i just use my server cited um um mve props so I just drag that and drop that in here that is literally it so now let's go back to the beginning you will see emb here now for these to work and for these to look really well you have to enable an emb and or you have to use an emb and the one i use would be the medium settings which is the the preset um it's recommended if you have a lower system there are lower settings here for you um if you don't have a very high end system my system is kind of mid-range to high end so i can easily run the mod uh, medium settings preset so that's that's fine for me so once i have gone into that i literally just take all of this drag this and drop this into my open iv and that's literally it you don't have to do anything else bro just drag it and drop it into here so and that's pretty much so you just do this and it will continue to bring it over um so that's literally it for the nve y'all it's literally just drag and drop and where you have to put it i'm gonna do some editing and stuff to make sure that you guys can understand really what i'm doing here so 
next what we're gonna do we're gonna go into game and i'm gonna show you guys how my settings are um there are certain things that you have to enable in your in-game settings to make sure that they look the best that they can look um there are certain things that he does recommend that you do enable for when you are in um server so if you guys so I'm, I'm gonna show you right here so you it says you must have your in-game gta 5 post effect settings on very high or ultra in order for all the emb shaders included in the package to work properly and he kind of shows you but i'll show you guys in game how mine look so i'll be right back with you all right y'all welcome back and welcome in game um just showing you guys how it looks in game and i mean I, i've already shown you guys like the the um clips of my other of my game and everything but i mean so now let's let's this is what else i do here because as you guys can see i'm dipping below 40 fps and stuff but to make my game a little bit more smoother i go ahead and i limit my fps to 60 um just so that everything is a lot smoother and i just click this this is literally all i do when i come in here and i press save configuration um and yeah so that is literally all i do when i come here so let's change the time of the in-game to nighttime or midnight sorry and then we're gonna change the weather to rainy and i kind of just want you guys to see how it looks during the rain and stuff like that like look at that bro like i mean that's that looks amazing i i, I don't know like if you guys don't think that that does look amazing then i don't know what will make well show you guys that it looks amazing i don't know bro like but yeah you guys have seen the uh results are here my game looks amazing right now this car looks amazing the lights look amazing like if you think it's just this car let's let's move on to another one then um let's do a civ car right let's do a civ car sports um let's do subaru B brz i mean i know it's at night so let, let's let's change the day then uh the time so let's go over to morning this isn't server um nobody's around right now so you know don't worry about that so this is how it looks um another thing that might be making my game look worse than it normally is is because i'm running in 1080p it's a little bit hard for my system right now or at least for my graphics card to run in 2k which it really which my monitor is in 2k but let me just change it over so you guys can see i mean it doesn't look bad at all at all but it's just a little laggy for me in in 2k that's why i set it to um what do you call it that's why i set it to to um 1080p but let's just get rid of the rain real quick and then just show you guys how it looks during the day and stuff like that so this is how it looks during the day let's change up the car again and uh show you guys maybe uh bmw m4 and i mean the proof is right there right let's let's turn this back down because the recording is a little glitchy um so as you guys can see here look look at it even if i downscaled my 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 stuff right it still looks pretty pretty good like the reflections and everything and let me just show you guys real quick how it does look how my settings are so we're gonna go over to um first of all graphics so i have my fsaa on i think that if i turn on msaa i think that's another requirement but currently i can't run that so i leave it off for now um i have my distance scaling all the way obviously population density and variety if you guys play 5m these have to be off um i do have an extended texture budget just so that i don't lose textures and stuff um server still being optimized by the way this is a community that i started with a server um me and some other members not necessarily just me you know um diverse roleplay if you guys want to join it be a link to it in the description down below as well um but yeah this is what my textures look like and mind you i have a ryzen 7 5800x b cpu and i also have an nvidia 2070 super it's probably going to change pretty soon but 
for right now that's what i'm rocking so as you guys can see i have my textures on high my quality my shader quality on very high my shadow quality on high reflection quality on high water particles on high grass on normal i don't really like the grass my post effects are on ultra these are the two that you guys need to have on very high or ultra shader quality and post effects for the emb to work really well and i have all of these other stuff on on high you guys can just scroll through for advanced graphics i have it on full screen this just works so much better um i don't have long shadows on i don't have high resolution shadows on or um high detail streaming well fine let's just put on shadows real quick i mean i've never really tried it i don't think it's i don't think it's gonna be bad look at the shadows though. i don't think it's gonna be bad but for now i'm just gonna disable it it's not necessarily it's not necessary for me honestly so yeah those are my visuals so if you guys like this video drop a like comment subscribe turn on bell turn on your bell notifications so you know whenever i post have a good one have a great day i'll see you guys next time hopefully this was a lot of help to you guys and um yeah i'll see you guys next time have a great day have a great week peace y'all